I'm Erin McGowan, I'm 26 and I'm an archaeologist, which means I do everything from helping to install exhibitions to digging in the dirt and putting things back together and analysing the things we find from excavations. I am an archaeologist today because of Indiana Jones. I went to see Raiders of the Lost Ark when I was four and after that I started digging up my backyard and I kept finding dog bones and then I moved on to finding the old broken bottles in my backyard. My parents weren't too happy with that. But after that I realised that I could actually go into a career in archaeology and I enrolled at Melbourne University doing their Bachelor of Arts majoring in archaeology and here I am. I thought it was all going to be adventure and running around and stealing antiquities from evil bad guys, but um, sometimes it's like that, <laughs> but not very often. The digs are a really good reason <laughs> to be an archaeologist. Uh, you get to go out into the field for sometimes months at a time. You have to be able to rough it, but uh, I think it builds character. <laughs> About a third of the year is spent outside because we literally do it all in one hit and then the rest of the year we spend in varied roles, sometimes in museums, sometimes teaching. Day to day, it's very varied, so depending on whether or not we're going out to excavate, uh, we might look at some maps to see where we're going to go. Uh, we'd be also looking at computer data to see where we're going to go because aerial photos are really important in archaeology. We might also be looking at some of the ceramics that have been pulled up from excavations and analysing them. The majority of analysing things after they've been excavated is not done on whole pieces of pottery, but pieces of pottery, lots and lots and lots of little pieces. Uh, so we do need to analyse those. Ceramic analysis is largely looking in detail at the material that the pot is made from. You need to look at what was included in the clay that they used, what colour the clay was, uh, whether the clay inside is different to the colour outside, so whether they've painted and decorated, um, how they've done that and what shape it is. And you need to look at all of those things in conjunction to really know what you're looking at. Science is really handy to uh, have had and you can understand things like uh, chemical compositions, what's going to help conserve artefacts. It makes the conservation side of archaeology a lot easier to understand. I know why they look like that, what time period they might have come from to look like that. I think the past is a mirror for the future. Sometimes what you're looking at just keeps happening, just keeps repeating itself. Even when civilizations supposedly cease to exist, another civilization will rise up in the same area and do very similar things and make very similar pots. And think about it, when we're gone, um, what are we leaving behind? And if there's archaeologists in 5,000 years looking at the things that we made today, would they really piece together the past that we have? Once you know what you're looking at, you can write up the data and um, put it into an article and tell everyone else what you found so that then a discussion can begin. I've mainly travelled within Australia doing local excavations. I was also recently in Greece on archaeological survey. I would love to live in Greece. <laughs> A lot of field archaeologists will just move around from site to site and just keep working as, say, trench supervisors and um, team leaders. Um, it's a great job. I would recommend this to anyone that is interested in where humans came from and why we act the way we do. The advice I'd give anyone interested in archaeology uh, is to get into a good arts or archaeology course. It is very interesting. You get to learn a lot about different histories and later on you can specialise, depending on what takes your interest. If you prefer to be outside, you can be a field archaeologist. If you're more interested in the material culture side of things, you can get into conservation. They're always looking for volunteers to um, come and help out on archaeological digs. Often because of heritage laws, new buildings might be being built. First there has to be an archaeological survey to see whether or not the building can proceed. And sometimes, uh, quite often, they do have archaeological excavations that you can participate in. I absolutely love this job. This is my favourite job. Um, I would be devastated if I was anything but an archaeologist. <laughs>